Death Blow! Barbarian Uppercut! I thought that with all that excitement earlier, we'd taken the advantage, but now it doesn't look that way at all. It would be nice if we could open up even just enough of a gap for me to make it through to the tower on my own. I don't think that will be easy. He has way too many heads. If only the Fluffetic was here, he can <laughs> outcheat anyone no matter how many heads they have. Plus, he's an expert at head removal, so. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet he'd love to get his lancet. Oh my goodness gracious me! <gasps> okay. And I You're just not sitting down for this one! <laughs> And I bet he'd love to get his lancet into a creature as creepy as this. There, I did it. <laughs> ah! He's completely taking the upper hand! Head, that is! So how bad has the situation gotten if we're sitting here thinking, oh, if only Murder Beaks was here, he could <laughs> use his Murder Beakery and save us. Yeah. Help! Help us, Dr. Murder Beaks! See, see, what, in what context, would, uh, other context, would anyone ever say that? It worked for the Christmas thieves. <laughs> there is no need to shout. I'm right behind you. <laughs> that, that's Speaking never sounded doctor. as good so far. I think the fact that he's right behind you is a perfect reason oh. to shout, but... Oh, what? What just what? happened? Ooh. A, a thing happened. <sighs> The doctor, appearing out of nowhere, throws something chemical looking at the king. Why is Murder Beaks getting a zombie's theme all of a sudden? <laughs> it smells extremely unhealthy. I knew you'd come through, doctor. And with heroic timing, too. Mark your calendars, doctor and heroic in the same sentence. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> Looks like you stole my thunder again. Don't act as if you could compare to Dr. Murderbeak's mongrel. You're way less evil. Doctor, you've awaited your arrival. I... I... <laughs> I think I'm gonna sneeze. What was that, sir? Something not unlike what I put in the tranquilizer gun I use for collecting live samples back home. Oh, well. Oh, so then. he collects live samples also. So. Anesthetics? It confuses the target's gait and paralyzes the central nervous system for a few minutes. Her heretical indeed. <laughs> I'm going on ahead. You weren't heretical enough, Doctor! It was developed with earthly creatures in mind. It seems it is not so effective here. You don't say! <laughs> Oko-san will use a wing attack! <laughs> Leave this to us! Sounds right. We'll keep him occupied, so Teo and the Geki can, get past, can head past the throne. If what the migrant said is right, you're the only one who can break us out of here. Go on, do your stuff, and do it well. Right. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's go! Come on, Nageki! Through the door, the king was so eager to stop us from getting to, there is... The lighthouse. The huge, bright lighthouse we saw from the plaza. But... Oh, drat. It's not very structurally sound. <laughs> Notice uh, the bridge. 
The bridge is broken. See? He must have destroyed it. He really doesn't want to let us leave, does he? If only we could fly! <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we do? I, I don't think I can jump that. No wonder he was saying the, the Migrant you. was saying that Nageki is the only one who could do it. I can fly. <laughs> oh, of course! Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Because you're a pigeon! One whiz! I completely forgot about that! I'll go. Um, I don't mean to be disparaging here, Miss Clante, but you really are an idiot, aren't you? Well, why did he even break the bridge? If she's the only non bird, like, in the universe at this point. <laughs> it is the lighthouse the king has tried to stop us from reaching at all costs. What could be waiting inside? Maybe a light bulb. <laughs> I don't want to make Nageki go alone if I don't have to, but... What? Oh, dear. Oh. It, he seems to have multiplied. Well, what should we do? <laughs> The king has multiplied. This is a case of the grossest asexual division. Down, Yuya. <laughs> Down, Oko. <laughs> asexual has nothing to do with Yuya. <laughs> no one told us he was capable of this. <gasps> Nageki, the king's coming after us. Go! Quickly! I'll break some jawbones and be after you in a flash! Alone? But... Right. See you. Later, Miss Clante. This is... a false star. The souls of lost birds are drawn in by this magic lantern, this lighthouse, and swallowed. They swell up and dream a happy dream. Oh, well, that's kind of a well in. <laughs> mm -hmm. This lighthouse. It is a giant magic lantern. Yeah, I don't think those are screens, those are projections. I'm Every getting a very Utena vibe off of this now. Everything Miss Kalante and I saw as we walked around this world was a fake. An illusion projected by this lighthouse. Oh, there you go. Yes. A fake. But it was fun, wasn't it? Ah! Ah! <gasps> oh, what? That, uh, that okay, is... uh, who... I guess David gets the voice again. <laughs> um, the king waited here for the dark, tangled souls which the river of heaven deposited at the foot of his jeweled throne. The king was there when they arrived. So it is no surprise to find him here, in the lighthouse he had tried so hard to prevent us from reaching. This king... Were you drawn here by the light? Or are you the first king? I suppose it doesn't make a difference either way. You are one of the kings, and the kings are you. The king said, and you will become the king as well. Don't you want to? I'll pass, thanks. Not just me. Everyone who came here with me has already refused your offer. It was a little hard to deal with the big king throwing a tantrum back there. I'm glad I can talk with you now. Mm -hmm. oh. Stay! Stay away from me! 
sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. You're, you're trying to break the dream kingdom I built, aren't you? That's mean. I suppose so. Mean. But you've tried to keep us shut in. If you let us and the others you've captured out of here, we won't break anything. I don't want to. The king said if the king did that, he would be all alone again. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are already alone, your majesty. You were afraid of what the others might say to you, so you absorbed them into yourself. And now you're the only one here. I was always alone too. I didn't know how to return to the sky. I think I should have gotten on the train like you. But I stayed on the earth. I spent a long time alone, burying myself in a fake world born of books. I had no one to talk to, just like you. It was quiet and peaceful. I had no friends, so no one hurt me. But one day, I started making friends. There are a whole bunch of nutcases. I can never tell what they'll say or do next. They're all loud and active. Just being with them tires me out. But I like them. I'm happy now. The stars on the planisphere glitter. I know what the king is afraid of. That... that won't do anything anymore. That planisphere isn't any good now. Indeed. You took one of the stars, after all. The star you feared the most isn't here. That star is gone. I already absorbed it. So come on, just stop threatening me. You can't do anything. Yes, I can. <laughs> the stars on this board are here to burn through the king's lies. One of them is missing, but all I have to do is replace it. Oh no. Birds, birds souls shine like stars. I should have at least one true gemstone with me. Which one should I use? Uh, which ones did the king give us? He gave us... He gave us... Uh, oh, uh, this is... Uh, the migrant gave us the yellow one, and the king gave us the other two. Uh, go, go with the migrant. Go with the migrant, because... I, you know, the... I think Hitori gave us this one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Even better. Yeah. Hitori gave me this topaz. The other two I got from you. Be be careful with that. Don't you realize what you're doing? Thank you. Hitori. Uh, um I'm confused. Um Kyotera, are you okay? Never better. I know! I know what happened! You burned to death, didn't you? Aren't you scared of that? Why are you making yourself go through it all again? Dear Lord, I beg of you, look into my heart and hear my prayer. No, stop! You'll burn everything I've made! In my next life, don't let me waste myself. Let me use my body for the true happiness of everyone in the world. 
The glittering crystal forest and the warm, friendly plaza. Everything will disappear! And then the scorpion burst into flame. A brilliant crimson glow. And by the light of his burning body, he lit up the night forever. I am that scorpion now. I would burn a hundred times for my friend's happiness. Goodbye, Holiday Star. I suppose the king's favorite book when he was alive was the same as mine. Antares in the heavens. The light of the scorpion's flame guiding those lost in the dark towards the dawn. And so the king's story comes to a close. The story he loved. There's nothing to fear. I've already burned like this once. The scorpion burns a bright crimson flame, and the dream ends. <laughs> what will happen after I've burned again? I hope the others get out of here safely. Too, Nageki. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Nageki. I got delayed while I was climbing up. Miss Kalante, it's dangerous here. Get back. Oh, come on. I fought beasts and climbed a lighthouse. <laughs> come on, take my hand, quickly. We're going home together. The king stopped? Watch out, kids. The building's coming down. Sure feels like the final scene now, huh? I don't know what exactly he did, but Nageki certainly hasn't cut any corners. So what should we do? I'd rather not get turned into a pancake underneath this castle after coming so far. The room with the chair was all that was here in the beginning. It won't collapse. We're safe here. Yeah, we're safe here with the giant multi-headed bird monster. <laughs> no, he just disappeared, remember? Uh, <laughs> Loco Sun is falling! Loco Sun is falling! Look, we're heading for the Milky Way. We'll be out soon. What of Kalante and Fujishiro? Did they make it? They're probably fine. <laughs> Teo's hunter gatherer instincts will guide her through whatever it takes to get Nageki out of there. What's the cradle <laughs> Stop clinging to me, you two. It is uncomfortably warm. Which way is up? Which is down? I feel so light. Oh, <gasps> oh God. It's Hori? Um. Um. Sorry, the, 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 let me just climb back onto my chair. Okay, do you do your scary breathing again? Oh, is that right? I know, I know, but it's still too soon. That's right. I'll be along soon. I'll catch up with you. 
Someday. Let's go, Hitori. <gasps> oh. 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 Please tell me I caught a screen capture in time. 